Hello everybody, welcome to Firewatch. This is a game I've been waiting for for some time. I'm very excited. I don't really know what's in store. This is one of those games where they didn't really reveal the plot. I got some screenshots. I'm going into this like a J.J. Abrams movie. I don't know what the hell it's about. So, I guess we'll find out together. Let's do this thing. I choose you, new game. I see Julia. What am I supposed to? Oh, oh, I, d I see, okay, I do see Julia. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. I approach her, yes I do. You are drunk. So, what's your, you know, major? You, you're pretty. Uh, you know what? Let's go with this one. I'm not gonna just be like, you pretty. You slur the word major and it smells like cores. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says. And I'm a professor. Cool, you reply. What's yours, she asks. She sniffs the air. <laughs> Toxicology? Was that a burn, you ask? She says, definitely. Worried she hurt your feelings, she asks you if you want to split the cheeseburger. One week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Way to go, dude! Nailing it. Like how I have to confirm that. Yes, that is true. Oh, my. Backpack. Guess that's it. Julia, dear? Go in here. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. Confirm. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Yes, confirm. Julia wants to get a dog. She does? There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia's in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Yeah, but the undersized beagle named Bucket. I like that. Fuck, it's a good dog. And a week later, you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. I confirm my love for him, too. 1979. You tack out on the deck. It's summer. 9.30 p.m. The heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Kids? They're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple of little idiots, that'd be pretty good. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best their parents are hitched. You say she's absolutely right. I'm waiting for the bad news. Where's where's the bad news? You know there's gonna be some. Can I look at this stuff? The Two Forks region. Do not forget to check in, no fireworks. The trail is not recommended for inexperienced hikers. 
You're in their country. Learn to live with bears. Oh, God. Anything there? No. Nineteen eighty. It's a Thursday night, and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. I get mad or I ignore her? Oh, I'm Irish. I get mad. You call her an inconsiderate asshole. She tells you to fuck yourself and not to be such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it, and it hurts her feelings. 1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man. You frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. Well, obviously. Very nice. Confirm. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it to happen. It's gonna be like, you should have picked the German Shepherd. Space bar. This game is super beautiful. 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. Confirm. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Damn! Bucket gets kicked. B -b -b fuck dog! Julie yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she's stressed. You confront the attacker. You scare him away, you beat his goddamn face in. I'm gonna scare him away. You reach into your pocket, leave you got a gun, and threaten to kill him. You manage to scare all three of you. He runs away. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say, okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. 1984. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut. 2,000 miles away. It's a great job, associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Convince her not to take the job. Agree if she commutes back and forth. Oh, man. There's no way this works out. None of these answers are good answers. Convince her not to take the job. You're, like, you're just a bad, you're a bad dude for that. Like, stay here for me, baby. Don't do that. And agree if she commutes back and forth. She's gonna meet some professor at Yale. You're gonna be on your own. This is the best answer out of the two of them. But it's over, bro. It's super over. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says it'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up. It's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. 1985. Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. Admittedly, this is an unexpected turn. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. Talk to some Do you think she's going to want to talk to someone? Uh, you know what? I'm going to offer it. And hopefully it'll be okay. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She's 41. You both decide to keep it secret for now. This is taking every turn that I did not even expect to see.
My emotions are officially all over the place now. That was beautiful. Bucket is getting older. Julia comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family. They are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. 1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple of months. You decide to move her into a full-time facility. You are determined to take care of her by yourself. That's the romantic answer. Probably not the smart one, but the romantic one. Hello, dear? What up? Where are you going? I just want someone to hold. It is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her, and she can't do anything without you. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours, drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter, drinking then too. You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. You put a chair in front of the bedroom door. You trust that she sleeps like a rock. I guess I'll do that. I mean, that's cruel. Putting a chair in front of the door? You go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home and in bed by 1 a.m. a couple nights a week. You look forward to those nights. 1989. Oh, damn! One night, you're stopped at a DUI checkpoint. You blow a .10 and are taken to jail for the night. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Susan... Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. Then they tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. Enter the lookout tower. Is there any place else to go, or should I just continue with the story? Ooh. Little red light up there. Any windigos out here? No? Alright. No, but for real, this is a beautiful game. Turn on the power. This thing right here, is there anything else in the room? Radio, pick that up. Okay, Wyoming. Go Wyoming, desk lamp. Oh, come on, desk lamp. Oh, I need power. All right, it's all starting to come together now. 
There's my bunk. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Uh oh. Hold shift to activate radio. Um. Hello? Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I... Like, sleep? Forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Okay. Uh, you've killed three ex-husbands. You're rebelling against mom? <laughs> Nobody back home can stand you. This is the right one, obviously. Okay, uh, you've killed three husbands. You're a black widow and you're just out here until the heat dies down and then you'll kill again. Ooh, very good. Bravo, Henry. Thank you. Okay, I sleep now? Not quite. Now you. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's <laughs> see. I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Good night. Welcome to the job. Title screen. Day one. I am writing a novel. Morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. What? You can see me at my... Where are you at? What? Where are you at? Can I look at anything else? Can I look at the... Oh, is that her? Guess I can't pick it up. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Ooh. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, 6? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it, that hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it, do you see it? Um, I do. I was worried. Took a minute to realize that that clock was broken. I was like, hold on, it's what time? Thought we were in a time warp. All right, actually. It's right in the middle of your room. Hold on, I'm looking at her. Oh my God, this is like the Jesse Cox simulator. Holy crap. You can't miss it. Lady, I'm exploring things right now. Desk drawer, can I get close to it? Yeah. I'll wait. 20-sided die? My man, toss it. Oh no! I'll never know. I'll never know what I rolled. Wait all day. Just radio me when you find it. Okay. Escape two orcs. Whoever was here before me was a giant nerd, and I love him. Okay. Pine cones. Grenade. Um, map table. Ooh, that thing's cool. Got bleach. Okay. Put back the bleach. Cookbooks. Jesse, we gotta cook. Stove. A percolator. National Forest guidebooks. Dish soap. Space puffs, which are delicious. Doctor Pr Doctor President. Doctor President, we need your help. Can't you see I'm operating on America? Death strikes at two. The Patriots, the birds of Wyoming. Thermos, can I drink from that? Examine. Mm, yes, it is a thermos. <coughs> Throw it back down. Got some flora, some fauna, and the map on. Let's do it. Okay, yeah, I see it. So now you're ready to work. I'm new. Wanted to look around. Yeah. Honestly, on my first day, I did the same thing. So anyway, 
This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is what? it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good what? Shot. Language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Is this Wes? <laughs> Use N to compass. Fireworks? Those are fireworks! Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Wait, but what are you? What are you and how do you see me? Is she going to be my head? Is this one of those like, I'm a crazy you person? Can that? Yeah. Can I write them a ticket? I'm not really into discipline. Like, sorry, kick the shit out of them? Job description. Like, kick the shit out of them sort of straight? No, 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 no. Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Get what? going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Like my luggage. Okay, uh, secure, convenient, <laughs> smart. Smart. Shut up. <laughs> Okay. Down I go, I guess. Do I need to take my bag? No. Just I'm just gonna go. Oh no! Auto take. Okay. Don't worry, you damn kids. I'm coming for you. Although, if you're gonna hike two days out in the woods or whatever, just to set off fireworks, that's pretty. That's pretty dedicated. M to map. So I need to go where now? So I'm going to just zoom in. So that's where I am, and I need to head west, right? And west is that way. Nope. West is that way. All right. Actually requiring me to do things. To, to, lear to learn how to read maps. Mm -mm, not even, not even sure I'm going to be able to do this. What side of the tree does moss grow on? And other things you should have learned in Boy Scouts, Jesse. Instead of making shitty cars. At least I can hear them. I need to find that box, though. Oh, is that it right there? NFS box. Hell yeah. One, two, three, four. All right, map, get out of the way. Wait, hold on. Can I go back? Can I exit out? No. All right, whatever. One, two, two. Three, four. Okay. So we've got, ooh, I can radio about a granola bar? Oh. People just stuff these things with old food? That's how you get bears. Those boxes are bear proof. I wouldn't worry about it. Really? It looks like wood to me. Okay. Rope. I found that rope. I tracked down that rope. It was right where you said. Great. So you should be set to get down to the lake. Taking old ropes. Okay. Um, what else is in here? Pine cone I can pick up and throw if I want to. Can I just pick this granola bar up? Yeah. I bet it's delicious. Eat. Old granola bars. Copy information? Oh, cool. All right. What is that? What is that? Oh, look at that. I got paths and stuff. 
medicine wheel. Ooh, I bet that's something cool. Cash 303 is that way. Oh, there's so many. There's like a camp over there at Jonesy Lake. Those kids are just setting off so many damn fireworks. What is this? Um, let me actually ask her about this. She has to be reading people's notes. Found a note between a couple of guys. Hey, I found a note to a guy named Ron from some guy Dave. That's probably Dave Gaskell. He's completely nuts. Is that right? Harmless, but yeah. One of those, you know, fall off the grid and eat ants for a week type. Totally fucking cuckoo. Which is kind of what the job attracts. Um... Examine? Ron! Hey, man! Guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you liked. Hiking into the park, but let's get fucked when I'm back, Dave! Okay. Um, can I, like, do something with the note, or...? Oh, so I can keep asking? Oh! Do people lose their shit doing this job? There's a note that says a guy just left his post. It happens, yeah. You're not gonna pop your top, are you, Henry? I wasn't planning on it. Unless you're in my head, and this is all a twist. Okay. Drop it. Or I could keep it. I guess, yeah, keep. Sure, alright. Pine cone? Can I, like, keep the pine cone? No. Grenade! Okay, um... Close. Alright. The old Maparoonie. Let's go west still. This way. Deal with whoever's setting off those fireworks, damn kids! This is a national park. Trying to burn everything down. Do toggle jogging. Um, bar? Do I have to lower the map? And then... There we go. I assume I'm heading west still, right? Everything seems okay. Map. Uh, yeah, if I follow this path down... Hmm. All right, we'll go this way. Oh, here we go. What is this? What is this? Just a clawed up tree. Oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. Hey, there's a tree out here that's been ripped to hell. And? Don't you think that's, you know, like, uh, disconcerting? Henry, there are 500 pound grizzly bears out here. They sharpen their claws on trees. We don't have grizzlies in Colorado. People killed them a long time ago. <laughs> well, in the thoroughfare, they hunt people, they kill people, they bury their bodies, and then come back weeks later to eat them because they prefer rotten meat. People just disappear. Don't you think that's disconcerting? No, Henry, that's life. Christ, lady. <laughs> Damn, that lady in your head is crazy. Uh, let's go this way. Rope. Oh, I gotta get my hook. Attach a hook to my rope. Can I do that here? Just like this? Gotcha. Shale slide. It's steep. There we go. Oh, yeah, this rope is super safe. I'm coming for you, damn kids! you get that's what you get for using that damn rope first off ow hey what the hell's wrong with you my rope snapped coming down the shale slide you didn't break anything did you no i think i'll make it well be careful for christ's sake thanks Alright, let's map it, and hopefully I'm still headed west, yeah? Alright, let's get over these damn kids. Ooh, we got another thing here. 
Uh, hey, there's a tie-off point up here just a little way from the shale slide. Well, you ready to get back on that horse, huh? Well, I can't go any further is what I'm saying. That heads south down to the creek, but you should be able to get to the lake just by continuing west. Without any, you know, mountaineering. All right. It's a long summer. You can explore later. All right. I'll continue your tutorial. Look at the art, man. Like the design of this game, Report Meadow. Oh, I didn't even like think that's okay. Probably should have done that up around the shell stuff. Wow, there's a, a big rock outcropping down here near the lake. It's really something. Yeah, makes for good camping. There used to be a group of guys who would boulder out there a couple times a year. What happened to them? Don't know. Just stopped coming out. Can I do more talking? I'm staring at the big outcropping down here, but I'm not quite sure where to look for our uh, pyrotechnicians. Mm. Maybe keep heading west toward the lake. Okay. Learning all sorts of neat little things. This is definitely going to be one of those, ooh, what is this? Beer. I knew it. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, sure am. I would like to retract my statement about knuckle sandwiches. Feed away. Can I pick one up? E to clean up. E to clean up. This is my life now. E to clean up. That's fine. I'll just I'll just do this. It's my job. It's like looting too, which is pretty great. Uh let's What do you know? People with shitty manners drink shitty beer. Hey! Uh, do you know, like a cold musquel light on a hot day? No no, I do. But then again I didn't say my manners were any good. Better than these fucking litter bugs, though, that's for sure. Yeah, sons of bitches. Give a hoot, don't pollute. Alright. I've done my good deed for the day. Oh my god, there's more over here. Oh, they left their bags? They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Okay, I mean, you didn't say mess with them. Also, is this their clothes over here? Oh my god. Oh my god, now I gotta clean up more of their damn beer cans. That's fine, I'll clean it. It's my job. Can I confiscate their fireworks too? Because I want to. Because F these guys. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. Confiscating. Uh, inspect. Screaming wife and magic missile. Magic missile. Magic missile. Alright. Anything else? Oh god, whiskey. They left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna confiscate oh, this. Shit. Ferret or Irish. Yeah, confiscated. Save for later game doesn't even try to play with me. It's like, yeah, no, you're going to drink that later. Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? There's a lot of that going around. All right, stomp it out. <sighs> well, I put out their fire. I want to name that forest fire something good, too. Hey, I can always restart it. Uh, no. I think your first instinct was the right one. So their clothes, are they naked right now? Because that is two pairs of clothes. Ooh. Lovers. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Well, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. Yeah, lovers. Ho! Oh! oh no, they're listening. They're listening to 80s music. I found a bra. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Okay. Oh, I found panties! I'm going to pick them up too. They're white. 
Can I radio that in? Uh, there are, uh, panties. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why? Because you're 12? Like, I love that woman. Oh, what the hell is this? Another bra? Another pair of panties? Oh my god. Yep, I'm just gonna report this. Yes? There are two naked women. Actually, there could just be one naked woman and she likes there to double are two up. Naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? <laughs> Come on, I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's, you know. Two? Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. Delilah, you don't understand. Okay. You don't understand. All right, so what am I looking for here? Oh, hello. Oh, found them. I guess I'll... I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping. Yeah. Is that a guy over there? Oh, boy. Enjoy dealing with that. All right. Can I just turn off their boombox? Pick it up. Full stereo. Oh, hey, put that down. Oh, seriously, it was expensive. Uh, Fucking pull it with the fireworks. Please just put it down. We won't light anymore. Ugh, this guy's creepy, Chelsea. <laughs> you probably have a tiny dick. Chelsea, what? it's my boombox. Can we go? Look, let's just go to the other side of the lake or something. Ew, totally. You're gross. I know you're lighting those fireworks. Stop making fun of me. You gotta take it easy with the fireworks, all right? You ought to take it easy at the Sizzler buffet. <laughs> Chelsea. Damn. What? It's just some loser out in the woods. I mean, he's throating. You're naked in the woods lighting fireworks. Hey, that go okay? No, it was hurtful. It's done. It's done. Well, that's ominous. Hopefully there won't be any more trouble. Uh, I should throw their stupid thing in the stupid thing trail sign. Uh, hey, there's a trail to Two Forks Tower down here near the lake. Yeah, that's your tower. So I should go this way. Well, you're not climbing back up that slide. All right, whatever. I'll walk away. I want you to know those things you said were very hurtful to me. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave now. I guess I can run it. So my question, I'm going to actually map. When I report things, does it end up showing up on the map? Oh, damn, I ended up at Jonesy Lake. So it doesn't necessarily report it, does it? Like I'm going to report this thing that I found. Maybe it does. I don't know. Whatever. Okay, let's just go. So I'll go like this, and I'll jump it. Making fun of me. I'm <laughs> jumping rocks, ladies. I'm jumping rocks. Tell me to go eat Sizzler. I'll tell you to go eat Sizzler. Look at me. Look at me. I'm jumping. I'm jumping and I'm pumping. Chelsea. a bit of a confession to make. I'm all in your head and you're a crazy person. Um, what? What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. Eh, it's not a big deal. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. All right. Can I go, like, sneak under here? Nope. <laughs> the answer, no. Let's jump it. Jump. Oh, shit. You know, a good ranger would go back and tell those girls to... Oh, oh, got to report it. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. 
Yeah, no, I was going to tell those girls to do the same, but F them. I got hit by lightning. I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not going to strike twice and all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. Damn. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed him? Suicide. Would you believe? Suicide by lightning? What was he trying to do? I'm just going to stay out in the open. Oh, it's 303. Perfect. All right. Open. One. Two. Three. Four. What's in here? Defend. Uh, copy information on the map. Cool. Uh, a horn? There's a horn or an antler or whatever. Well, antlers are made of bone, and horns are made of the same stuff as your fingernails. I guess this is a bone. Antler. A ranger must have found it this spring. Okay, pick it up. And, uh... I guess I'll just drop it. Back to nature with you. I found a flashlight. There's one in there? Great. Well, the sun's gonna go down soon, so if the batteries still work, you're in luck. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. There better not be spooky stuff in here. Batteries don't work. Uh. Oh! No, they do. They do. F to light. Cool. Does it want me to go into this cave? Oh, Lord. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave... I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. I used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. Can I do it now? Ah, danger! It didn't seem that danger. Whoa, whoa! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it. <laughs> um, map? So, that's stuff that I got access to. Cave 452. And I could. I feel like that's the way. Yeah, no. We're going caving. Flashlight on! Hello! I bless the rings down in Africa! <laughs> She's not having it. She's not a fan of Toto. Oh shit, so that's the way I need to go probably. So this is... This cave is gated off. It's to stop Spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Maybe. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, sorry, Hank. Looks rusted. I bet I could get in there. Okay, up we go. Need the flashlight, I don't think. All right, let's hoof it. Oh, um, there's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? What the Wait, hell? He's looking at you. Is he doing anything else? I, I don't think so. Henry, there's, there's something I. Something someone should have told you about this area. Lady? What is it? It's outside. Come on. The whole yeah, thing. And people come and go as they please. It's 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 madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Yeah, but what if that guy was evil? I'm just saying, what if he was evil?
Or he's probably looking for his two girlfriends. Ladies, it's me, Hems. I've come to set off fireworks with you. We gotta jump it. Yeah. Am I gonna run into that guy up here? Or is he gonna remain mystery man for a while? Nothing that way. Wait, so this is where he was? What the hell? Oh, never mind. It's like soot. What is this? Did he vanish? Into... <laughs> he turned into dust. A smoke monster? All right, up we go. Come on. Those ladies are going to make fun of me. Here I am climbing mountains. You climb mountains, damn drunks. Climb the rocks. Okay. Still going. I'm not going to go that way. That's the way I came, I suppose. No? Okay. Keep it up, man. You got this. Maybe. All right. The other ones seemed easy. This is, like, actually... We're actually climbing a mountain. Believe in yourself, Hank. You can do this. Trail sign closed. Take a minute, man. Take a minute. Oh, oh shit. Uh, 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 damn it. Probably should put that back up. Uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the blocked path. Um, it was backbreaking, but, you know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. Okay. Let's just run back up here. What is this? Outhouse. What? Wooden sign. Pick up. Oh, God. It's horrifying. You know, I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burns. Henry, as an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. Yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. He inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. A shrink would have a field day with you. Uh, thanks, Mom. <laughs> what kind of name is Forrest Burns, anyway? Well, that would be a pun, Hank. A glorious pun. I went to junior high with a guy named Royal Butts. Royal? Butts. <laughs> I didn't think anyone had been named Royal since the 1850s. Well, Royal's mom, Flo, was a bit of a trendsetter. Flo Butts? <laughs> Yeah, well, it's still better than Forrest Burns. I don't know. I don't know. I want to see a series of Flo Butts and Forrest Burns. Um, so it's uh, just the outhouse then in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. Good to know. What's this in the ground? Old baseball? That's your throw? Oh, Hank. Oh, buddy. I am so sorry. <laughs> okay. What else is here? Anything? All right, let's hoof it back up to the top of this thing before the rains come in. Oh, yep. Yeah, oop. What the shit? Wait, what? Uh. What can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground, outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell did... You should get inside. Fuck me. Um... What the... What? Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. 
There's glass everywhere. Anything else on the outside? Any... What? Okay, I put in a call. Okay, thanks. Do you have any idea who would have done this? Girls by the lake? Maybe the guy in the canyon? Who is out here? I don't know. Who's out here? I mean, I don't know either. I've never had a lookout be a target for violence. Great. I, I can't believe someone would do this. I mean, I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about who knows what out there. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since... I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. I don't. Just tell me where to find a gun. Whew, I'll say don't worry. Don't worry about it. Oh, you can protect yourself, huh? I just don't worry about it. Perfect. Keep that attitude up and you'll have an excellent summer. Day two. Holy shit. UFO Commander, we are the future. We're gonna take you to the future. Then we're gonna get to the future. Where everyone talks like they're from the future. UFO Commander, we are the future. We're gonna take you to the future. Then we're gonna get to the future. Where everyone talks like they're from the future. Hello, Arrows 4. Me, just got the number one out of the plan. The B, please, the tip top shape. I'm swell shape. And I'm gonna make a fortune for five ass four Shut the balls up. UFO Commander, we are the future. We're gonna take you to the future. Then we're gonna get to the future. Everyone talks like they're from Jump the balls up. UFO Commander, we are the future. We're gonna take you to the future. Then we're gonna get to the future. Everyone talks like they're from Jump the balls up. Give me that. No, no, no. <laughs>